the story of Captain Star, the greatest hero any world has ever known. Captain Star journeyed the universe in his ship, The Boiling Hell. His orders, to discover new worlds, name them after himself, and then sell them things. One day, the boiling hell arrived at the ragged edge of the universe, where Captain Star and his crew, Navigator Black, Atomic Engine Stoker Limbs Jones, and First Officer Scarlet, waited for orders from Mission Control. And waited. And waited. And waited. One, sir, it's two. They're twins. Born simultaneously? More or less, sir. This one was born at one minute to midnight. This one, a minute after. Then they've got different birthdays. That won't do. Tests have shown the rocket crews work best if they all share a birthday. Take this one away. Let's see, one minute to midnight on the 63rd of the 17th. Yes, there you are. You are gonna be a navigator. Never too soon to start training. And this is for our little science officer. Stoker. And you, of course, are the captain. And what did you have? A little stoker. What about you? A science officer. We're very disappointed. We thought she looked more like a captain. Look, they're friends already. It's so nice to think of them out there in space, sharing their birthdays. Ready, crew? Let the party commence. Jones, switch off the gravity. <laughs> what was that? We've crash-landed on the surface of a previously uncharted planet. Marvellous! What a great place for a party. We could call it Planet Party. Yes, or Planet Jim Star is 21 today. Brilliant, Captain. Men, let us resolve now that we will never let a birthday pass without performing some great act of daring or discovery. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain Star's 22nd, 23rd, aye! 108th, 410th. What can you see, Captain? Boiling suns! It's them! The legendary 29 captains, missing for over a thousand space years. <laughs> Miss me, you fiend. You've saved us. You've saved All us. Together. All together. All together. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Captain, Captain Star. Star. Oh, oh, he is the jolly good friend. We're not busy, so we could have the biggest birthday party ever. Here in the cafe, Black could do the food. We have nothing to celebrate, Jones. We haven't performed one act of daring or discovery all day. I suppose we could discover this planet, put it on the map, think of a name for it. A waste of time and money. We're only parked here waiting for orders. Can't be much longer now. Can't be much longer, can it? Aha! This will be them. Birthday cards for Officer Scarlet. Thank you, Posty. That's what we could do. We could play. Who got the most cards? The captain always gets the most cards. Quite right, too. Happy birthday, Navigator Black. And nine sacks for you, Mr. Jones. 
What about the captain? There's usually an extra rocket load for the captain. Not this year. But surely there must be one... What about the 29 captains? I rescued them from oblivion. They must remember my birthday. Nothing, Captain. You have been completely forgotten by everyone in the entire universe. ta -da. Completely forgotten by everyone in the entire universe. Fools. Arrakis, Dune. My father once told me one needed desert power to rule. You are desert power. Fear is the mind killer. I will face my fear. I will let it pass through me. How could they forget the captain? Ungrateful fools. We could try and cheer him up. What about musical chairs? Or hide and seek? If you'll all excuse me, I think I'll have an early night. Black? I'm sorry, George. You're right. All the stars and planets that bear his name, and not one of them remembered him. Ah, well. Night, Scarlet. Night, Jones. Night, Scarlet. Night, Jones. Night, Scarlet. That's enough, Jones. And a happy birthday. Oh, now for a real birthday party. Oh, my fish. My fishy brethren, let the party begin! The stars light birthday candles on the cakes of yesteryear. Meanwhile, I sit and contemplate. Year, ear, tear. Within my eye, a tear. No. Pull yourself together, man. What you need is the companionship of your crew. Strange. Must be too busy partying. My party! Toaster fish omelette, please, Black. And after that, a game of musical chairs, I think. <laughs> My fish are all gone. I see. In that case, set up the chairs and let's party. Aye, aye, Captain. seem longer than usual, Captain? Yes, Scarlet. It's because we're all older. Keep it steady. Birthday cards for Captain Star. I should think so, too. They should have been here yesterday. Not quite entirely forgotten, after all. No, Captain, not forgotten at all. In fact, your birthday has been moved. Moved? Uh, Mission Control has declared your birthday a pan-universal public holiday. A pan-universal public holiday? What a good idea! What's going on? It usually only takes me five minutes to get to the cafe. I've been walking all morning and I still can't see it. Can't see it? Captain, he's right. The cafe has vanished. No need to panic, Scarlet. We could always eat at your place. Jones, open these birthday cards, will you? One of them might contain my orders. Right away, Captain. Hang on a minute. If they've moved your birthday, you've got a different birthday from the rest of us. And if you've got a different birthday, you can't be our captain. Thundering rockets, you're right. Different birthday, different ship. I'll have to leave the boiling hell. Huzzah! Quick, men! The ship's library. Captain, surely you'll admit that the boiling hell is further away than usual. It just seems that way because you're sorry to see me go, Scarlet. To me, it seems a mere twinkling. Step lively, men.
64, 64. There it is. That will be my new ship, the Blubber Raft. But you can't really leave us, Captain. Got to, Jones. It's written in the stars. The Blubber Raft is an interstellar fish reprocessing plant. Marvellous. You can't exchange the boiling hell for a fish reprocessing plant. You forget, Scarlet. The Blubber Raft is up there. The boiling hell is down here. It is a very good fish processing plant. Mm. They make those fish-shaped snacks. With ketchup inside. You should be proud, Captain. Well, I'll be sorry to say goodbye, but goodbye. <gasps> Perhaps a farewell supper? It's over there, about five land miles. That's ten times as far away as it was this morning. There's only one explanation, Captain. We have all shrunk. No, there's another explanation. The planet has got bigger. Actually, there is a third possibility. Captain! Oh, I'm so pleased to see you. I looked out of the window this morning, and I couldn't see the boiling hell or Officer Scarlet's lab. I thought you'd all gone and left me. Yes, yes, Black. I want you to tell me all you know about fish. I'm going to be a space fisherman. Oh. <sighs> well, fish are good and fish are kind. Fish are gentle. They're understanding. What about gills? That's a word you hear in connection with fish. Do I need to know about gills? Captain, there's something I think you should see. Here's the answer to the mystery. A large quantity of water was lost from Black's Cafe last night. It seems to have run down this innocent-looking hole. The hole, however, is in fact the mouth of a dormant volcano. The water thus turned to steam. Oh, my fish! Steamed, oh. then smoked, oh. and baked. Oh. How sad. The steam would have escaped harmlessly had not its exit been blocked by this birthday cake. So, all we have to do is pull out the birthday cake. No! Stop! If you do, the steam will rush out, powering the planet like a jet engine and sending it spinning off its orbit into the trackless wastes of space. Then, what can we do? There's only one thing to do. Ask the captain. Oh no, Scarlet. My work here is finished. It's in your hands now. But, uh, what do you mean, Captain? Until such time as my replacement arrives, I'm appointing you acting captain. Here, take my captain's whistle. Your whistle? Oh, thank you, Captain. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything, Scarlet. Just save the planet. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have shirts to pack. I bought you this shirt, sir, for your 21st. Yes, Jones. I call it my itchy shirt. And this is the one you wore when you saved the 29 captains. Look, there's the hole where the spear went in. You keep that one, Jones. Are you sure, Captain? Thank you, Captain. Captain, I'm going to miss you, Captain. Well, it's nice of you to say so, Jones. And I'm going to miss you, Captain. Thank you, Jones. And I'm going to miss you, Captain. Just pack the shirts, Jones. The planet is expanding its own mass every hour. In an hour's time, it'll be twice its usual size. In two hours, four times. And soon after, it'll burst. Yes, but what are we going to do? Uh, think, Scarlet, think. It's interesting how the time seems to be passing really slowly, even though I know that time is a constant. I wonder if not that sort of thinking, practical thinking, save the planet sort of thinking, captain sort of thinking. How long have we got? Two hours and 17 minutes, as long as there's no major disturbance on the planet's surface. What's that? Look, Scarlet, my new ship! Captain, tell them to circle! A heavy landing could blow the whole planet! What? Oh, look! It's the 29 captains! Stop! Quick, Black, the cake! Now this...
This is what I call a party. If the cake hole blows, we're doomed. I can't hold her, acting captain. There's no job. Ah, Star, there you are. I can't tell you what an honor it is for me that you were taking over my ship. But what are you going to do without a rocket, Brian? I've been promoted. They moved my birthday to the 32nd and recalled me to Mission Control. I'm going to be in charge of time for the whole universe. Do you realize that some planets are months behind the great space clock? I was on a planet in the uh, Scarborough constellation the other day, and they swore blind it was Tuesday afternoon. My watch said Thursday morning. Yeah, captains! Captains, the entire planet is going to blow in less than an hour. Ah, well, actually, I have to be somewhere about half past anyway, so it's fine by me. We'll leave the fate of this planet in your capable hands, Captain Scarlet. Hello. I travel in exhaust and specialist piping, if you're interested. It's no good, Captain. I can't do it without you. Yes, you can, Scarlet. The solution lies within your grasp. Couldn't you give me a clue, Captain? The man you just spoke to. The man who travels in exhausts. His ship is called the Miles of Piping. Miles of... Of course. Piping! Jones! Jones! Assets trip that rocket ship! Yes, ma'am. I get back to my party. If my soundings are accurate, then the piping should tap into the lava reservoir. The gas pressure should force the lava out through the piping. Since the top of the piping is sticking up through the stratosphere, the lava will be ejected harmlessly into space. I can hardly wait. You think it'll work then? You're the captain, Captain. Yes, I suppose I am, aren't I? All right, Stoker, let's do it! Jones? Ooh. 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 Look, Star, a new planet for your birthday after all. Thank you, Scarlet. I think I'll call it... No, no, Star. I'm Captain now. I'll name it Planet Scarlet. You know, in a way, I'm going to miss you, Scarlet. And I'll miss you. Captain. However, we must get on. Mirror, signal, maneuver. You know, Scarlet, if only you had been born a few minutes later, you would have made a wonderful captain. Yes, I know. Still, we can't question time. Oh, oh another earthquake. It's all right. It's just the original water loss from Black's Cafe. There's no room for it now that the planet has returned to its original shape and size. Oh, my fish! I knew you'd come back to me! It seems so long since I've seen you. In fact, it's only a matter of hours. You see, Captain Brian, it is possible to question time. Time is relative. Relative to what? In ancient times, Captain, when it was dark on one side of a planet, they called that night. And when it was light, they called it day. But that's ridiculous. That would mean there would be two different times on one planet. Mad. Not so, Captain. It's important to distinguish between time as an actual force, which is a function of light, and mere chronology, which is a function of clocks. But if you're right, then it doesn't make any difference what time we are born. That's right, Captain. We're Star. This is Captain Star of the Blubber Raft, preparing for departure. 
preparing for departure. Scarlett, Jones, Black, goodbye. I'll miss you all. Shut the door after you. Star, I've been talking to Scarlett here, and it seems that birthdays are useless as a way of determining ability and suitability. No, I knew you'd do this. You won't take it from me. Not now. I don't care about the nature of space and time. This is my ship. I'm the captain. I'm going back to space. Get back, or I'll... If you really want the blubber raft, I won't stand in your way. But if you want to stay here with your splendid crew and await your, no doubt, glorious orders, that's up to you, too. Goodbye, Goodbye, Goodbye dear, dear captain. captain. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Leave me alone. I suppose you'll be wanting this back. Yes, Scarlet, I will. I suppose it must be disappointing for you to have to relinquish your command so soon. I'd rather be your science officer than the captain of half the rockets in creation, Captain. Happy Captain Star Day, Captain Star. It's up to you. You choose whichever one you like. Nothing in that one. Nothing in that one. Ten Groat Postal Order here, Captain. On the nameless planet, it's just another day without orders. Will you be renaming the new planet in your own honour, Captain? No, Jones. I think we'll let that stand.